Just a minute. Are you getting my voice? Okay, we'll start. Not clear, sir. There was some problem in connection. That's why it has happened. We'll start it again. Just a minute. Okay, we were discussing regarding the discrimination between these two varieties of diseases, whether it is really a surgical disease or whether it is a dynamic disorder. This is too important to understand. If we are able to understand this, then we can treat accordingly. And this aspect he is trying to explain over there, what exactly the cause of disease is there, whether it is external or whether it is internal if it is internal treat it with homeopathy if it is external first treat it with surgical if needed followed by the homeopathy and this aspect one should understand clearly and this is what he is explaining over there so what he says in last sentence in that paragraph they are not more than carpenters they attempt to repair the roof put on the goats and bandages and aid by their bandaging the man from head to foot, they often do an improper thing. And this is very, very essential thing. One must discriminate what exactly the treatment is required by the patient. If you are able to catch, then you can treat. If you are not able to catch, then you never get a success. The physician must know the things that derange the health and remove them. If fang of an old tooth causes the headache day and night, that cause must be removed. To prescribe when a splinter is pressing on a nerve or leave the splinter in would be a foolishness and criminal negligence. So he is giving examples. If the plank of the tooth is causing a trouble over there and producing the headache, that, that should be removed. If there is a foreign body inside your eye and you just go on giving internal medicine, not of any use. You remove that foreign body. Many examples. These are the examples which are given over there in the footnote number footnote to the paragraph uh, three or four. Uh, uh, footnote number uh, seven, seven, paragraph number uh, seven and footnote where he has mentioned all those examples where he mentions exactly what are the maintaining causes, exciting causes, which he explains. The aim should be to, dis to be discriminate and remove the external causes and turn into order internal causes. A man comes from the treatment and he is living on divide crabs, the lobster salad and other trash to reach for the stomach or a dog. If we keep on giving Naksomika to that man, we are foolish. If a man who has been living viciously stops it, it can he can be held. So this is this is too important. Any person who comes to you who used to consume very spicy diet and he is having a very severe acid peptic trouble. 
it is your duty to tell him that he should stop eating spicy things giving anaksomika is holy this one must understand and if you understand this then and then it is possible to get exact result then you can treat that patient very nice if a man who has been living viciously stops it he can be held but so long as the that external cause is not removed the physician is not using discrimination vicious habits bad living living in damp houses are externals and must be removed when a man avoids these externals is cleanly carefully chosen his food has a comfortable home and is still miserable he must be treated within so or if everything is going on fine at that time it is necessary to treat him internally everything is normal still he is suffering from the disorder from the internal cause then he should be treated so this is very important thing which he tried to explain over there if you know how we are mal maligned and lied about you you have heard it said about some strict homeopath he tried to set the broken leg with the same potency of mercury what a poor fool but still outside of such an instant this, this discrimination is an important matter you must remember it specially when we see at at times it will be hard to decide this kind of diagnosis is important because it settles between the these things external or internal it is far superior or diagnosing the names of diseases every physician does not discriminate or mm, does for if he did there would not be so many otises and murderous external applications used Um, otis means it is a hot pad applied to the part, sore part of the body. That is what is called as otis. Malign means to um, say bad words about the others. Malign to tell lie, to tell um, uh, bad words. Malign. Otises means hot application. every physician does not discriminate thus uh, for if he did there would not be so many potices and murderous externals applications used among those who do not discriminate are those who apply medicines externally and give them internally so if you understands clearly whether this disease is caused because of external cause or whether it is caused because of internal cause then it is quite easy for you how to treat him if the things are because of external causes and it if it really requires a some local application it's well and good but if things are happened because of internal cause and it is appearing on the skin it should not be treated locally if you treat it locally then it enters inside causes harm to the major important organ and to which we labeled by the name of suppression the curable disease can become incurable because of this so he wants to explain you exactly you have to discriminate between which which are internal disorders and which are external disorders and accordingly you have to think and accordingly you have to act what type of homeopathic management you have to follow whether to go for surgical intervention because because the cause is external and irreparable or whether to go for internal treatment because cause is dynamic one and this aspect he has tried to explain over there in detail and now again he turns to the same paragraph now we return to the fifth paragraph which reads useful to the physician in assisting him to cure are particulars of the most probable exciting causes cause of the acute disease underlying exciting cause of acute disease as also the most significant points in the whole history of the chronic disease too enable him to discover its fundamental cause chronic disease fundamental cause which is generally due to the chronic malaise in these investigations the ascertainable physical constitution of the patient now just write one by one first point is ascertainable physical constitution first point is seven points which should be fixed in your mind being a student for answer and being a practitioner for practice first point is ascertainable physical constitution 
Number two is his moral and intellectual character. Number two point is his moral and intellectual character. Number three is his occupation. Number four is mode of living and habits. Number five, his social and domestic relations. Number six is his age. And number seven, his sexual, his or her sexual function, etc. are to be taken into consideration. See, this aspect is very important to understand. What he explains over there, if disease is acute, you must find it out what is the exciting cause behind that. You know acute diseases are of four varieties. The first variety is because, because of acute exciting cause and it, it expresses in the form of some indisposition or injury disease. Second is sporadic because of climactic element it happens. Number three is because of um, in, in, because of the acute myasms that is epidemic or fourth is endemic. Both of them are because of this. So you have to understand clearly that what type of acute disease is and accordingly you have to work it out. So just a minute. So acute diseases are classified into these four types. Which one? The first one, individual. Second is sporadic. Third is epidemic. And fourth is endemic. And chronic diseases are caused with the chronic miasms. They are caused because of chronic miasms. So chronic miasms out of which SORA is very important. Sora is called as a fundamental cause. And how to understand fundamental cause? So where the symptoms are minimum and still you have to prescribe, then for such a patient, how will you prescribe? Which are the points which you are going to take into consideration? So seven points he has mentioned. In dealing with the chronic cases, you have to take into consideration seven different points. A certainable physical constitution, Number two is mode of living and habits. Third is occupation. The fourth is that is the social and domestic relation. The fifth is his age, then sexual function, and lastly his intellectual character. Seven points are necessary, and those seven points defines you a chronic remedy, and that one must understand. So this aspect we have to learn in this aphorism. And the philosophy behind that, the Kent has explained further. So we'll go with that philosophy in tomorrow's session because we have to understand all those things which he has explained in detail. So that's all for today's session. We'll meet today evening at 9.30 with a new drug called as Dalkamara, closely related with the Rostox. So that's all for today. Thank you being there. And We'll meet at exactly at 9.30 with Delcom. Thanks a lot.